Hello all, this is Ravi Babu Tobati, Solution Architect. And this is Araceli Salazar, Associate Solutions Architect. We are with the Customer Success Team. And in this video, we will be talking about secret management service, vault configuration, connection configuration, and we will go over a demo of the feature. Let's get started. A big problem our customers face when creating connection objects for every single endpoint they want to connect is that sensitive information is being duplicated and managed in multiple places. With this integration, Secret Vault will retrieve connection credentials from their respective vault managed by different ecosystems. Some benefits from this feature are managing credentials in an external vault as part of governance policy and procedures in a centralized manner, avoiding duplication and mitigation risk. Sensitive customer technology credentials are never persistent in Informatica. When it comes to the feature, there are two components. One is configuring your Vault, how you connect your org to your cloud provider or key vault solution. And second, connection configuration, how you configure individual connections. Depending on the ecosystem you're integrating with, you will have different options to authenticate and connect to the secret vault. With AWS, you have role-based access based out of IAM roles or access key, which requires access key ID and secret key access as an option. And for Azure, you will configure using client ID, client secret, tenant ID, and vault URL. You need to have these custom licenses, Secret Manager and Secret Manager app. These are automatically included as part of the IDMC license, so no additional shipping request is required. Secret Manager app service needs to be up and running. If it is not visible, you will have to enable the service from the agent group, enable disable service under the additional services tab. To create a secret vault setting in your chosen org, go to Administrator, Security, and enable the secret vault setting. You will have to provide additional details depending on the product type. This secret manager service will be used to retrieve secrets from the key vault. There are two roles, role that can configure the vault and any designer that can configure the connection. The role that can configure the vault is key admin, similar to CMK, customer master key, as not every user should be configuring the vault. Only the key admin role will know the password and share only the secret ID with designers. When it comes to the connection definition, we kept the vault configuration and connection configuration separate. If you have Key Vault enabled, it doesn't mean that you will be using the Key Vault for every connection as you do get charged for using Key Vault based on connection definitions. So you might want to use it for more sensitive or production applications. Secret Vault will be available on a connection basis with the ability to toggle on and off. Currently, we have selected fields which are sensitive and limited to username and password as such. To add Secret Vault, you have to go to Connections and IDMC. In CDI, you will not be allowed to edit connection, which has Vault enabled from any of the tasks in the mapping. You will have to go to IDMC Administrator to make any changes. All connections inside that org having Secret Manager licenses can leverage the Key Vault feature. The secret label that you are putting in password field is an identifier to go and fetch for the associated pair and then submit it during runtime. What you see in password field is not the password, but the label. With secret manager service meter, you will be able to keep track of your secret manager usage. Customers will have control over which connections they would like to use secret vault for and toggle the feature on and off in the connection definitions. 
Connection definition is the source or target connections that are defined and configured with secret manager parameters toggled on. When secret vault is enabled, it's based on definition and not connection usage. This is not based on consumption, it's based on definition. So if the job is being called 10 times a day, you will only be charged for the day based on the definition and not how many times the job runs a day. Now, if there are four connection definitions in the same job, then you will get charged four times. And here you see the IPU per metric unit uh, based on the first 600 daily connections, and then for the next 601 to 3,000, and then for 3,001 and up. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Robbie to provide the demo. Actually, uh, let me get started the demo. For the license part, go to the licenses, verify the IDMC license, then go to the right side features. The secret service manager should be included here. Go to your securization group, Go here, enable or disable service connectors. Or go to additional connectors. Here, secret service manager should be enabled. Once we enable the secret manager, then go to agent. The secret service manager app should be up and running like this. It should be enabled, it should be up and running. So once we it enables a secret, a secret manager app, then we are all set to go and use a secret service manager. Now we can go back to AWS. In order to use a secret manager, we need access key, secret key. So please keep ready with that. So so now go back to Informatica console, go to settings, go to security. So if you see this one, right, in AWS Secret Manager, we have we have two types of authentication. One is the access key, the other one is the role-based access. Here we are using the access key option. For role-based access, we need to have EC2 instance. So once you provide the access key, security key, region, then test valid connection. Go to the agent. So the agent where secret manager app is running. So you need to select it and test it. Then it will tell you valid connection test was successful. So once this part is done, so for the connections, we need a secrets, right? Then you need to go to AWS, go to search and select secret manager, then select secrets. Here, you can go here, store a new, you can create a new secret. So when, uh, like this, you have a key value type, then it's a plain test. For this demo purpose, I already created key value and plain test, both secrets. So now, if you go and see the plain test secrets, this is a secret name, this is a secret ARM. We see retrieve secret value, this is a password. We are keeping as a secret. So this is my secret name for the plain test. For the plain test option, we need to use the secret name in the Informatica IDMC connection level. So let me go back. Go to connections. So here we are trying with a, one of our Snowflake connection. So go back, edit. So if you see here, I enabled use secret back and password. So here, if you see, I am giving just secret name. So if, we, if I copy paste the secret name, AWS secret name and test connection. 
the connection was successful. Similarly, we have a key value pair connection. So go back, test SQL info. So if we won't see that, we have a key values like a username and password. For this one, we need to copy secret name colon password in the Informatica connection level. You see here, if you want to use the key value type secret, we need to use a colon, then copy this password. So the both types of connection was successful. So when you connections, both connections successful, right? Let's say how these connections are and you want to validate or you want to check the log, the agent level, you need to go back, Informatica, the secure agent, apps folder, there is a secret manager app service. Okay, go to logs. Now, we see here 525, open the latest one. Let's go and see how to check the successful So if you see here, this is how it talks to the, the secret service, the API, the SMS agent VP connection, we got the successful connection. Then, now we know, we understood about how to enable the secret service app, now how to get the secrets from AWS secret manager. So then, now how you want to check the IPU consumption for this secret service connections, then you need to go to metering. If you go here and metering, there, there is a secret service manager rate card. As I really said in the slide, yeah, so here is the IPU consumption types, uh, kind of how we, uh, the connection, uh, the secret, connection definition consumes on a daily basis. If you have more than 600 daily uh, connection definitions, it will uh, charge 0.016. More than 3000, it's going to be 0.011. If it is more than 3000 connection definitions, it 0.006. Now, the last part, we can go back to guidelines for usage. So, R must be configured to store connection credentials on the cloud. As I showed you in the demo, this option should be enabled. So if you have a sub arcs, log in to sub arcs directly to see enable a secret vault. Then AWS secret manager. So we do have two authentication types as we discussed. One is a role based, other one is access key. For the role based, the secure agent must be in AC2 instance. Restrictions for the secret names for AWS and Azure. For the AWS, the secret names you can keep alphanumeric and special characters like in the slide. For Azure, alphanumeric and characters and dashes. So when you're switching from val to non-val, you have to re-enter the username and password in connection level. For more information, please visit Informatica documentation under administrator. You will find a secret manager configuration. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody.